fiscal conservative credentials of all these gentlemen, but, but particularly this week, Senator Santorum. You have a new television ad that labels him a fake. Why? Because he's a fake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm real, man. I'm real. Congratulations. I'm real. Thank you. He's out there on television ads right now, unfortunately, attacking me uh, for saying that I'm, I'm this great earmarker when he not only asked for earmarks for the Salt Lake Olympics in the, in the order of tens of millions of dollars, uh, sought those earmarks and used them, uh, and he did as the governor of Massachusetts, three or four hundred million dollars. I didn't follow all of that, but I can tell you this. Um, uh, I would put a ban on earmarks. Our games are successful. But while I was fighting to save the Olympics, you were fighting to save the bridge to nowhere. Uh, quickly, well, quickly. It's, it's true. And you're misrepresenting the facts. You don't know what I'm you're talking about. What, you're, what, what happened in the earmark process, what happens in the earmark process, it was that members of Congress would, would, would ask, formally, publicly request these things, put them on paper, and, have, and have, them, have them allocated, and have them voted on in committee, have them voted on on the floor of the Senate, uh, and Congressman attached Paul, to a bill? Attached to a bill? A, a, as part of the bill, bill. As part of the bill. And Congressman the president Paul, can veto it. He can veto the bill. The whole bill, but he yeah. can't veto the earmark. Well, we tried to do that, by the way. I supported That's the line out of veto. That's me. what I support. I, hold on. Hold on. Since birth control is the latest hot topic, which candidate believes in birth control, and if not, why? <laughs> as you can see, it's a... It's a it's a very popular question you It's have. a very popular question in the audience, as we can see. But I just want to point out, you did not once in the 2008 campaign, not once did anybody in the elite media ask why Barack Obama voted in favor of legalizing infanticide. Okay? You said that you personally opposed contraceptives, but that you, you said that you voted for I Title did. X. You, but you use that as an argument, saying this is something I did proactively. You didn't say this is something I was opposed to. It was something I, I would have done. You I, said this. You said this in a positive light. I voted for Title X. I think it's. I, I think I was making it clear that while I have a personal more objection to it, even though I did, I don't support it. That I voted for bills that included it, and I made it very clear in subsequent interviews that I don't. I, I don't support that. I've never supported it. And, 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 have, and on an individual basis, have voted against it. Yes, Governor, you balanced the budget for four years. You have a constitutional requirement to balance the budget in four years. No great shakes. I'm all for it. I'm, I'd like to see it federally. But don't go around bragging about something you have to do. Uh, Michael Dukakis balanced the budget for 10 years. Does that make him qualified to be President of the United States? I don't think so.